hi okay i've returned actually i've still been posting a little bit but they were videos before i died and i've had you could probably tell i've not been well i've had like a horrible flu thing for like two weeks still trying to recover from that but honestly i haven't put makeup on in like two weeks so i wanted to film today and i thought i would do kind of combining two things together here i wanted to do a video using the new l the liquid contours and liquid blushes because i got a blush and a contour um but i also didn't want to just do a video on those but i also wanted to do like a shop my stash video and then also do something for Taurus season because i'm filming this on i think it's the second day in on Taurus season now Happy Taurus seasons to the April Taurans out there. That's why we've got brown on. It's so hot. But this is like the only Taurus-y thing that I have. So I'm just going to have to sweat. I'm just going to have to sweat it out and deal with it. I'm just going to do a shop my stash. So I've got some new things, some not so new things. And we're just going to do a taurus -y makeup look. I'm going to have to edit out all of my sniffles. It's not great. Okay, so I've already done my brows just to save you the boringness of me doing my brows. I didn't do my hair so we're just gonna ignore that as well. I also can't tell if my camera's straight or not. I don't feel very well if you can't tell but you know what I've missed makeup like I said I haven't worn it in a few weeks so. What I'm thinking is do a bit of the face and then we'll do a bit of the eyes you know do all that. Um, so in terms of skin prep I have just done my normal morning skincare so I've done my uh, moisturizer and my sunscreen so that's all I've got on as of now. Uh, so for primer or just like for the base I'm gonna use the Say Super Glow, no it's not, it's the Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. I love this stuff. Oh I need to put something on my lips. This it just feels like a, um, a gel moisturizer as well. That's what I really love about this. It's not just like one of those bases or primers that It just leaves you looking glowy like it actually I feel like it benefits like your skin like my skin just always feels hydrated after I've used it okay I don't know whether to maybe do this like every month I mean I feel like it's good to do like a shot my stash like quite regularly I know some of you guys were saying that you enjoy these videos because you know there's a lot of makeup out there and just kind of going through what you've got and just rediscovering things there may be some things that's in your makeup collection that you've never even used which is what I find most of the time um, okay, so for foundation, I mentioned this in my last video as well. I got another Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. Um, I got, I did a Colourpop order recently, so I got another one of these. I went through a full one. I love this foundation. It's really, really nice. Foundation on. I think I finally got my right shade with this foundation, because the one I had last time was way too warm. So I've got 80 medium 80 warm this time i think i had like 120 or something ridiculous last time i think over the years i think i've gradually 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 got a bit better at picking my shades this was like the first club up order i've done in a long time so i haven't used this in a while but it's just a really if you've never tried it before if it's something that's appealing to you it's a really nice natural everyday foundation and I'd say it's got like a medium coverage. Um, it can, you can build it up definitely, but it's not like a full, full, full coverage foundation. You will see your skin still peeking through, but it leaves a nice dewy glow. And it just, it makes your skin look very, very healthy. I'm deciding whether to like wash this off. I, this is what I usually do. After I filmed, I wash my face most of the time and just like get into bed and rest. Well, I don't know whether to actually go out. It's Saturday today and because I was literally ill for the whole of last week. So it's the 22nd today. So for the whole of last week, I was just like ill. I wasn't in work for a few days and then I've just been working from home. So I basically missed completely my partner's birthday. It was on the 14th. So he went out and he did his own thing like with his friends because I was literally dying. I couldn't go out. So... I told him that I owe him like a date night because I always take him out for dinner it's just like a thing we do we just take each other out for dinner on our birthdays so I still owe him a dinner really so 
And to be fair, you know what? We haven't eaten out at a restaurant in a really long time. I, can't, I genuinely can't remember the last time we've eaten out in a restaurant. We ought to take out <laughs> quite a lot, but we haven't eaten out, out and got dressed up and gone out in a while. So I don't know whether to leave this makeup on. I don't know if you can see. If I go back a bit, maybe you can see. Can you see these little hairs that are like sticking up? I've got like this little bit at the back. I've just tamed it, so I'm not gonna pull it up, but I've seen like so much like new hair growing through since I've been using that um, that Miel Rosemary oil thing. I've been using that since, oh, it's been a good few months now. I've been using it since last year. I've been using it consistently. Um, and I've really, I've seen the growth. I can, all these little hairs here, because I put it like down the center, which now I realize I probably shouldn't because these are gonna be an issue. Um, and then I mainly put it like at the back of my hair here. And I feel like my hair has gotten a lot thicker than it was. Like when I came out of hospital and with all obviously the medication I was taking, like my hair thinned out so much. And my hair is also colored, well, it, it's grown out pretty much, but it used to be a bit coloured. I just realised I had to blow my nose and now... There goes the foundation. Moving on to concealer. So I haven't used this on camera with you guys yet, but this is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. So I have the shade 27 in this. And this has got really good coverage and it lasts a long time. Uh, the only thing I've found with it so far is that if I don't like set it straight away, it will crease under my eyes. But I usually set quite quickly, so I'm not too bothered. So I'm just using my little Morphe brush to blend that out. So I think I will maybe go onto the eyes after this. I actually know because I've got creams to use. All right, we'll just have to do the eyes comple like completely separately after. Ugh, you know, like when you have like that end part of the cold. I mean, I definitely ha didn't have a cold. I had like a virus or a flu or something. I slept for like two full days. Like I just, all I could do was just to sleep because I had like this constant headache here. I couldn't open my eyes, couldn't do anything. I just slept for like two days. And then I've had a really chesty cough. I've been coughing up crap for literally two weeks. Obviously my nose, the headache won't, wouldn't go away. The really bad like fever. So I was like literally I woke up in the middle of the night and I was just like drenched sweat and then I was really cold at the same time. It was, it's been a magical time for me. It's been a magical time. But now it's just that end part where you're just like, can I cough up everything now, please? Like I'm done. Okay, let's move on to the exciting part of today's video, which is the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wands. So I got a blush and a contour. I didn't get the highlight just because I don't really use highlight that much, so. Not too bothered. If I'm obsessed with these formulas and I really want to try one, then I will. But for now, I got one of each of those. I'm such an idiot. I just did concealer, but I had a colour corrector. I got the e.l.f. Uh, camo colour corrector. I got the peach one. I'll use this in my next video. But yeah, I also have the blush that I was talking about in one of my last videos, which I got recently, which is the Cheek Freak um, blush from the brand About Face. Look at that colour, we've now fixed it. The pan basically came out when I ordered it. It's so nice, the formula is like so creamy and so soft, but I haven't actually tried this yet, but it feels really nice. And I had no idea that this was Halsey's makeup brand. They're a lot smaller than I thought they would be, I think because I'm literally thinking of Charlotte Tilbury. It's a lot thinner, but I mean, these were so affordable compared to the Charlotte Tilbury ones, which to be fair, I haven't tried the contour actually, so I can't compare the Charlotte Tilbury contours to this one, but I do have one of the blushes. I have Peach Gasm. I mean, oh, let me get it and then we can do a swatch actually. It'll be helpful. Okay, so in the contour, I got the shade uh, Light Medium. I think this is the sh second shade. I'm just gonna do like a couple dots. I think I'll do. That's blended out really nicely. I like the shade. I just think maybe I needed a deeper one, but the shade above this looks like way too deep, so. I'm just gonna do a couple more dots. Maybe if I do like another layer. Can you even see that on camera? Let me just do the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna do it in sections. See this side, maybe it's just the light and you can see this side a bit better, I think. It does dry down quite quick, 
not gonna lie like that's what I've noticed so far it seems to dry down very very quick so I think you it is best probably to work in sections but it still blends out really nicely as we can see I'm just gonna put a little bit more on because I did like two layers on the other side as well also I don't know if you can see that Sephora concealer has creased so bad because I've set it but it's fine we'll do it I do like it. I think definitely more winter time when I have <laughs> no colour to myself. Like now I could probably get away with either using the shade. Okay, let's try the blush which I got in the shade Rosé You Slay. Oh, I uh, might have squeezed out a little bit too much there. Gonna try and work quickly seeing as the... Uh, the bronzer dried pretty quickly. I'm gonna work as quick as I can. And I'm obsessed with this shade. But again, it has, it's dried so, so quickly. That's my only concern, I think, with this. This side, I don't know what, maybe I just put a bit less on. Maybe, maybe less is more, but this side seemed to blend out like a bit easier. It's not lifted anything. It's not separated my foundation, anything underneath. I'm liking it so far, I'm liking it so far. I do really like that colour as well. Let me get these under eyes set. And I want to try this new, well actually I don't think it's new, but it's just this technique that I've seen going around on TikTok, which is just about like how you like do your powder, where you basically set with a pressed powder first and then go in with your loose powder, the clean side of my powder puff. And I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury powder Going with the loose powder, so I'm going to use my Juvia's Place one. This might be a good technique if you like, if you really need your makeup to last like a lot longer. That is smooth. Let me get an eye primer out. You can see the eyes a bit better, can't we? So I'm just going to do my Beauty Bay eye base. Alright, so the main thing that I'm going to use for the eyes is going to be a single eyeshadow. So I just need some browns. Like I said, I want to keep it like monochromatic. So we're just going to use browns. So I'm going to use the Cash Beauty Secret Treasure palette, which is just that bronzy palette we need. I'm going to take this shade here first and I'm going to just put this. I'll show you what I'm doing. Right, I'm then I'm going to take the shade 2, which is a bit of a richer brown. And then I'm going to use this to like blend those into the crease a little bit more. the lid shade on now which is this guy this is I haven't used this in so long but I love this this is the block party eyeshadow from dose of colors in encore I love this shade I love this so much and I feel like this is perfect for this look because it's like a one and done like little eyeshadow you could just throw on the lid perfect for lazy people Torrens Torrens you know you're lazy you know you guys are lazy so I'm gonna take it on a brush Let's try it dry first, see how it is. Oh my god, I forgot how much I love this. It's, look how pigmented it is, but then it's got gold glitter on it. Once again, camera, not doing it justice, but I don't know if you can see, it looks nice and wet. Oh, it's just the gold glitter on top. Obsessed. I'm just gonna tight line with my LA Girl liner while I still can. Just gonna take a clean brush. Brush, I can't speak today. Just clean brush just to blend it. I 
and I'm going to take my Rimmel Thrill Seeker Mascara. I just want to add a bit more baronziness, so I'm just going to take, is this straight? I really can't tell. I'm just going to take my Catrice Sun Glow Bronzer, you know, because just to warm that up a little bit more, just because that bronzer shade. Just add a little bit more warmth to the skin and then because I was pretty much testing that out for you guys and also I filmed a reel testing out the blushes this blush does not go with the Taurus vibes so I need to get a brown nude blush you have to know what I've chosen you have to know it's going to be toasted cinnamon just to add a bit of warmth Let's move on to lips. I'm gonna use my Made by Mitchell. Oh, it needs sharpening. I forgot how much I love this lip liner. I think I need to get some more shades because great formula, great, great formula. Combo I haven't tried yet. So I'm gonna take the Smashbox lips. Oh my God, I need to go to bed. Smashbox lipstick in Badis. I'm gonna take the Lights Lacquer Jelly Balm in Dust Dispensive. That's it, that's, that's it. I'm actually so tired. I think I've just realized I definitely am yeah, still ill. <sighs> I'm so tired, I'm so warm as well. I need to wash my face. But anyway, that is it for the video. So I hope you enjoy, you appreciate me dying while trying to film this video, but, oh. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. So let's little shop my stash. I'll definitely do these more often because I need to, really, to be honest. Um, all my lights are starting to die, that's why the lighting is deteriorating, but it is what it is. It's not one of my videos if my lights don't die. Um, camera battery's been fine though. Wow, it's the first time ever. Thank you so much for watching and joining me as always. Let me know what you think of the makeup look. Let me know any other ideas if you've got any for any of the other zodiac signs to come. Obviously, I've got this filmed for Instagram as well. I'll do a reel on there and TikTok as well, probably, so. Yes, let me know your thoughts on the video as always. And um, also let me know if you're gonna try the e.l.f. liquid blush and contours and let me know if you have tried them, what do you think? Let me know thoughts. I just realized I didn't swatch the Charlotte Tilbury one for you. I'm so sorry, we'll do it now though. I went with the one I thought I would like. Very similar, Peachgasm obviously is a bit more peachy, but very very similar that's the oh wait let me tell you which is which <laughs> that's the elf one so that's rose you slay by elf and then this is charlotte tilbury peachgasm very very similar very very similar not overly obsessed with this formula anyway and that's expensive so yeah anyway i was supposed to do that like an hour ago in this video but better late than never and now i've just got glitter all over my hand genius okay I need to go to bed. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in my next video.